Today I'm going to show you how you can import contacts into your Go High Level CRM fast. So let's check it out. So to begin with, we're going to need an Excel sheet, more specifically saved as a CSV file. If you don't know how to do that, you can just go to Save As, and then down in this drop down, select CSV. But I've already saved it as a CSV, and you can see I've got my CRM contacts in these columns right here. Specifically, I've actually imported and had ChatGPT create data based on the movie series or video series Game of Thrones. So if you like Game of Thrones, you might recognize some of these names. But we've got a couple of columns like name, phone number, email, tags, country, house affiliation from Game of Thrones, and title. And so some CRMs might have these typical fields right here like name, phone number, but other CRMs won't have specific fields that you might have. So like house affiliation or title. So that's why I went ahead and added these because at the end of this video, I'll show you how to create these in high level and really show you how you can personalize the general high level CRM to your specific needs. And if we have a look at the tags column right here, we can see that I have different tags and some contacts have multiple tags. So this first tag is called noble leader and the second and third tag is queen and dragon. So you can Im um, import multiple tags, as many as you want at once. So once you have a nice and clean CSV file, you'll want to open up your high level account and specifically go under contacts and we'll find the import tag right up here. So import contacts, we'll open that up and you can see they want us to upload a CSV file. So we'll just hit upload file. We'll go ahead and select our Game of Thrones CSV file by double clicking and we'll go ahead and hit next. What will happen then is we have to map the fields. Basically those columns, those fields need to be mapped appropriately. And high level is pretty good at doing that uh, correctly to begin with. So we can see name, we see some name examples like Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, and then we see the contact fields that will import it as in the CRM. So name is name, that's good. Phone is phone number, email is email, tags is tags. And you can see country is country. So it's already all correct. But if it wasn't correct, and let's say Jon Snow wouldn't be the full name, but instead Jon Snow was the first name, Jon Snow, <laughs> just one name, just one first name, then we can just hit this drop down right here and we can select it as first name. If this phone number, for example, wasn't the actual phone number, but instead it was a zip code, we could just hit the, um, the drop down again and we could select postal code. But again, these are correct. I'm just trying to tell you how to do it if it's not correct. So we'll go back and do name, back to name, phone, back to phone, and we'll scroll further down. And you can see high level even found our custom fields and associated it correctly. So it knows house affiliation is house affiliation and title is title. So that's all good. And if you're happy with these field mappings, then you can go ahead and hit next. And you can give it an import name if you want to. So we could call it something like Game of Thrones or Game of Thrones. GOT as the short and we can just go ahead and hit submit and import it from here and you could create a list based of, off of this or we can go ahead and hit advanced. So here if you already have existing contacts you can say hey and this is the best standard version just add the new contacts and update the existing or if you don't want it to do that you can just add the new contacts or just update the existing. So depending on your import process um, all of these are valid options. And then you want to give it a, a unique identifier. What's the most unique field on your contacts that would uniquely identify it? Usually it's something like email or phone number. And that's why you can choose these two unique identifiers here. And if you want to add a second preference and do both, you can use email and phone number. Um, so yeah, you'll just have to choose based on what you're doing exactly with your import process. And you can go ahead and update the empty values or not. We'll, we'll just leave it the way it is. And if you wanted to add tags to all of your contacts, so these contacts did have these individual tags right here, like noble leader, queen, dragon. But if you wanted to add the same tag to all of the contacts, that is where you would do that now. So for this example, let's say we wanted all of these contacts to have the tag Game of Thrones. And you can see once I type that in, it already popped up. If I wanted to add the new tag game for whatever reason, I could add it here, but I want Game of Thrones. So I'll select it and there we go. We've got that selected. You could add them to a campaign or workflow and select it from here. 
but um, I recommend not doing that all in one step. So I'll just turn that off and we'll hit submit and see what happens next. We can see our file is being processed. We can click here to view progress. I'll go ahead and click on this. And now we're brought to the bulk action section here. So I'll hit bulk actions and you can see it. Game of Thrones. This is where it can be handy to have this name, this unique identifying name. You can see I tried a little bit for this video in advance. And then this is the Game of Thrones, the one where I changed the name just now. And it's a bulk implore. It's all complete. And again, this is just the bulk actions tab in here in the contacts. And if we click into smart lists, we'll be brought to our new CRM. Before it was empty, I guess it could have shown it, but now it's full with our contacts, our contacts emails, the created date, and our tags. You can see by having that comma in between, it actually did um, separate the tags and create separate tags for every contact. So now you might be wondering, hey, Johnny, this is cool, but I had these custom fields like house affiliation and title, and where do I see them in my CRM? How do I add that? So let me show you that real fast. So you can personalize this CRM by clicking on columns. And you know, all of this, all this is, is different columns. So we'll click on columns and we will select house affiliation and we'll go ahead and select title. And you can see it's already updating. So now we have these extra columns, these extra yeah columns called house affiliation and title. And if we wanted to save this, we'll just go into more filters um, we don't want to filter it actually down, but we want to save this view with these extra columns. So let's just say um, uh, full name is not empty. So we're, so it, it'll apply to everybody. So we're not actually trying to filter it down again. We just want to filter that's going to apply to everybody. So full name is not empty. We'll hit apply. And now we've got this smart list and we can go ahead and save this as a smart list. We can give it a name. We'll just call it again Game of Thrones for this fast example. And we'll hit save. And now you can see we've got this all tab, which is um, exactly the way the CRM is originally. But then we've got this new Game of Thrones smart list with these extra columns saved right away. So I did recently create a YouTube video around this topic as well. So check that out if you want to. And what I wanted to show you next is how do we actually create these custom fields, house affiliation or title? For that, all you have to go is go to settings. We'll go in to custom fields. It's not custom values, it's custom fields. And these are again, the contact fields that you'll find on your contact. And you can easily just head add new, maybe. And so basically if it's text, you wanna choose one of these text inputs. If it's a value or a number, you wanna ch choose one of these values or numbers. If it's a drop down or something crazy like that, you've got multiple options right here. So check those out. For now, we'll just go with the single line text and we'll hit next. And this is where you would type that field in. So for me, again, it was house affiliation or title. I'll just go ahead and create one that's called rank. We can add it to the contact level. We could select a group. Let's just put it into additional information. And um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and hit save. And boom, there we go. If we go back to our CRM now, we'll have this custom field created and we could find it here in columns. Again, that was called rank. So let's try to find it. Here it is, rank. And there was no data in there when I imported it. So that's why there's no data. But that's how you create custom fields, add it to your CRM, and really personalize the Go High Level CRM to your needs. If you want to learn other tricks on how to make your life easier and work faster and better and make more money with the help of High Level, then go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.